Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we've been talking about a very busy weather pattern with three separate uh, systems uh, impacting our weather. Of course, the first coming through today. Uh, the second one is lined up for later tomorrow night and especially Friday. The third, of course, is highly dependent on the future track of Hurricane Joaquin in the late part of the weekend or early next week. So the soaking rains of today, two to three inches now pulling away. Some leftover showers in southeastern Mass. Heading out tonight, the weather is manageable. I'm not anticipating any street flooding. It's more of a nuisance kind of stuff some showers, some drizzle, some areas of fog later. So a bit of a lull compared to what's ahead for later uh, tomorrow night and especially on Friday. So uh, rain and wind again after a soaking. We're looking at the Thursday night, Friday time frame, maybe dealing with more coastal issues as far as the potential for some coastal flooding at the uh, times of a high tide. And then we'll draw our attention to Joaquin, the new information from the National Hurricane Center. I'll show you the new forecast track in just a second. And the storm does in fact make landfall along the east coast, primarily the mid-Atlantic coast. I'll show you that in just a second. Low clouds in Providence right now. Some light showers, but no heavy rain. Temperatures still mild in the upper 60s to low 70s, though I do expect a significant cool down later tonight and especially tomorrow. Stepping out tomorrow, you'll need a warm jacket. Highs only in the 50s. So you can see the bulk of the heavy rain uh, pulling away with that first system. And again, just some light showers behind that and nothing more. We draw our attention to Joaquin getting better organized on the uh, satellite photo of this uh, asymmetry that we're seeing a more circular shape to the cloud pattern tells us that it is intensifying the winds are now at 85 miles per hour near the Bahamas the coast of Florida uh, North Carolina, southern New England at the top of your screen. And eventually the steering winds are going to allow for this system to track to the north and up the east coast with tropical moisture. Regardless of whether or not the storm has a direct impact here in southern New England, we still get some moisture from it in the form of some rain the latter part of the weekend into early next week. Here's the latest. Winds of 85, gusts of 104, category 1 storm anticipated to become a major hurricane cat three for a while near the Carolina coastline and then taking the turn to the left near the Chesapeake Bay either late Sunday into Monday. Now here is uh, southern New England that is certainly far away. However, this is the five day forecast. So any deviation in the track further to the east has a high impact here. So this is too close for comfort. Certainly don't want to write this off as a miss. But for now, the anticipated fork the anticipated track takes it to the mid Atlantic coastline. Still too close for comfort. Here. Here, so certainly stay tuned to further forecast to see if there's any shift to the left or the right of the track. Obviously, that makes a huge difference around here as far as the kind of weather we get. But again, that's not until the latter part of the weekend. In the meantime, the setup that we're in right now is high pressure, strong high pressure in Canada and a broad area of low pressure to our south. And that's creating a kind of a squeeze play. The difference in pressure between the two is so great that we're getting these persistent east and northeasterly winds that will only strengthen over the next couple of days. So here's the close up uh, set. set up for a Thursday night into Friday. These strong east and northeasterly winds along the coastline with some gale force winds. This is outside of Joaquin. It has nothing to do with the storm itself, but kind of a separate weather players that we're tracking. And the net result on this for Thursday night into Friday will be heavy surf and rip currents, coastal flooding possible at the times of high tide, beach erosion, and another round of heavy rain that could cause some street flooding on Friday. So Futurecast shows relatively quiet weather tonight in terms of heavy rain or storm just some fog and some drizzle right on through tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon and then all eyes on late Thursday night and especially on Friday that's reflected in the seven day future cast a raw windy day unsettled for the weekend but the magnitude of the weather uh, for later Sunday into Monday is highly uh, try that one more time is highly dependent on the uh, future track of a Joaquin in the Sunday night Monday time frame. So at this point, the forecast calls for a, a landfall across the uh, mid-Atlantic coastline. But again, a slight shift in that track makes all the difference in the world as far as our sensible weather here. So bottom line, stay tuned. Uh, our web uh, site, uh, Wealth of Information, WPRI.com, with the blogs and all kinds of information. So stay tuned on that over the next couple of days to see how this all plays out. I feel very confident about stormy weather, rain and wind, uh, Thursday night into Friday. The real wild card here is the Sunday night Monday time frame. All right. Tony, thank you.